Hello there, and welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, a terrific podcast, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I tripped over the word <laughs> podcast. You did. And you know what? That means it's not a terrific podcast. No, you by knew definition. Freudian, you were lying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. What did I say? Did I say podcast? It sounded like you said podcast. Do you still think you host a show? <laughs> Yeah, we've turned this off long ago. It doesn't I know, so what am I doing? <laughs> we do this all for your ego. This thing never sees the light of day. That's funny, because if you knew how many people come up to me every day oh. and shout buzzwords from this podcast. <laughs> mm. Like podchast? There, yeah, and that'll be a new one, podchast. <laughs> hey, Conan, like the podchast. <laughs> And I won't even know what they're talking about. I've had people recognize my voice. Yeah. That's wait, really wait, cool. That wait, doesn't so happen. So they heard you across a room? Okay, and... Matt. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, no. I'm, what are you trying to seriously. say right They've now? They've heard you from three counties over. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. You they have recognize a, your voice? You have a uh, loud, you're a loud woman. Yes, I am a loud woman. And yes, they have heard me from, from across the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're so. one of the loudest. I got upset at you, but you're totally right. Uh, you're one of the loudest people I've ever met. Okay. Okay. Seriously, no, I'm not. you are very I know, loud. I know a friend of yours who's even louder than I am. I, we're, I know the friend you're talking about. He's much one of my good friends. Yes. He's he's quite loud. Yeah. I think you blow him out of the water. Mm. I grew up in a very loud environment. I come from a very loud people, and we are loud. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just when it's, you I try it. so defensive. So why would you say that it's not true. Because I feel like you're coming at me from like a very judgmental not perspective. Not at all. I think it's great. If you're ever lost in the forest, I'll find you instantly. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to go hiking with you just because I wouldn't need a whistle. Huh. You could just start in a normal conversational tone saying, hmm, maybe we should get lunch and park rangers would hear you nine miles away. Okay. I will say that I'm recording at home, but I have your microphone here and I'm picking you up for this podcast. All right, this is fun. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> this is so fun. Wait, what? you're just picking up her voice from a microphone that's sticking out your window? <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's traveling from, from Hollywood to Pasadena. <laughs> yes. Wow, and it comes in perfectly fine. Sona, I think you're, you know this. I think you're uh, terrific. I uh, think you're terrific. I hate this. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're going to say, but I, I hate it so much. You're a good friend. You're a great assistant. You're you're loyal. Uh, you are so loud. You know what's funny is oh this Oh, God, is, just say it a little. I know. I was going to say, this is years <laughs> after me controlling it because really? people have called me out on it so much. If I really want to talk normally, right this is it. I, oh, wow. That's yeah. it. Wow. This is my actual voice that oh. I want, that I have to subdue because people like you- Stop it. Cars are crashing right now. <laughs> <laughs> because people listen to this while they're commuting. And right now people are reaching for the volume button and their cars are going off the embankment. The windows in my office just shattered. <laughs> um, Jesus, I hate it here so much. Well, how, what do you do? Because you have twins now that need to be put to bed. I bet you're very quiet when it's time for them to go to sleep. I'm quiet. And then it gets loud in my house just because mm. there's so many... Ethnic people just walking in. <laughs> people you're related to? <laughs> yes, just my, the Ar my all... Armenian relatives. It's an it's a small world ride at your house. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> like, well, I'll just put them down. There'll be a noise machine. And then the door will open. Oki will start barking. People will be like, what's going on here? And then like, you know, it, then they're awake. It's Is this awful. your parents? Is this it's your- It's everyone. It's my parents. It's tax parents. It's my, you know, cousins, my- Brother, and do the, then do they play uh, their ancestral instruments? How does it? Okay, I can't. You can't. I don't know. What's? Isn't there a drum that the Armenians have and a and a fife? What what is it? It's a dumbeg and a duduk. A what? A dumbeg. That's the drum and the dumbeg. Don't, don't call us a dumbeg and a duduk. <laughs> dumbeg and dudu. Is that true? Did you have a dumbak and a doo doo at your wedding? I remember there were, was there a yes. dumbak and doo doo at your wedding. Yeah, when we first walk into the wedding, I remember there that. was an accompaniment. I thought someone had backed into some trash cans. I'm sorry. Oh. You're listening to dumbak and doo doo in the morning. Yeah, that's the, guess what? That's the. And, <laughs> In Yerevan, in Armenia, that is the wacky drive time show. It's Tom Back and Dudu! Tom Back and Dudu! Gang, bang, 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 bang. Goo, 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 goo. With Sonam Obsessian broadcasting live from Los Angeles without a mic. 
<laughs> they can hear me in Armenia. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. They don't think you ever left. No. People are like, they just set up Sona's a done very here. well. She never went to America. I heard her this morning. Well, it's Dumbak. I, I love Dumbak and Dudu. I was born in yeah. this country. Were you at all tempted to name your twin sons Dumbak and Dudu? <laughs> I was not at all ever. No. <laughs> Dumbak, Dudu. Come to mama. I hate when I teach you new things Dumbak, about Armenians because no. then you just do this all the time. Dumbak, Dudu, I bought you a bicycle built for two. Dumbak, Dudu, put that back. <laughs> oh, look, the rap sign. <laughs> I don't see it. It's right there. Nope. I no, see nothing. I was just, that was just, I was fanning myself. That's not a rap sign. <laughs> all right, well, look for our other podcasts. We'll be broadcast in the morning in Armenia. Dumbak and Dudu. <laughs> yep. Those two wild men are going to shake things up in our Armenian drive time radio.